Hey Mad Lovers, welcome back to my channel. For the newcomers, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and click the bell button for more updates on my videos. Okay Mad Lovers, for the previous episodes that we have, we discussed about uh, factoring polynomials. So this time, we will be having another interesting topic in mathematics. So I hope you are excited, so keep on watching. So Mad Lovers, our vlog this time is all about simplifying rational algebraic expressions but what are rational algebraic expressions simply rational algebraic expressions are expressions in the form of polynomial over polynomial or in other words rational algebraic expressions are expressions which divides two polynomials let us now have our first example don't forget that our task is to simplify our given rational algebraic expression in to its lowest form but how are we going to do that so i tell you math lovers that this time this is now the time that we're going to apply our previous learnings especially factoring so let's have now this example we have here 15x squared over 20x cubed so as we can see we have here a polynomial divided by a polynomial or specifically we have monomial divided by a monomial so now let us try to simplify this simple rational algebraic expressions we have monomial divided by monomial or monomial over monomial so we have here our solution it is equal to 5 times 3 times x squared all over 5 times 4 times x squared times x so why do you think we have this it is because we simplify this given monomial here let us start first with our numerator we have 15 x squared so to simplify 15 x squared looking at the denominator 20 x cubed so we simplify this as 5 times 3 and we have x squared over our denominator 20x cubed equals this is equal to 5 times 4 times x squared times x so that is how we simplify the given rational algebraic expressions here so after that we are going to look at our second um second <laughs> expressions here so we're going to look at the numerators <laughs> and denominators if there are common numbers, common variables, or common terms. So we have here 5 and 5. So since we have 5 and 5, we can actually divide this out. Divide out. Since we have division. Next, for 3 and 4, they're not common. And we have here x squared and x squared. So we can divide this out. How about um, x? Do we have another x on the top? None. Therefore, since we're done dividing out, we're just going to pick up the remaining numbers or variables. We have here 3, copy 3. And we have here 4, copy 4, and x. So you have 3 over 4x. Moving to our second example. Our second example is 4x cubed over 7xy squared so polynomial over a polynomial or specifically again monomial divided by or over a monomial so let us simplify this given rational algebraic expressions first we have to simplify further the numerator and the denominator let's start first with the numerator our numerator is 4x cubed to simplify 4x cubed, considering our denominator, we will have 4 times x times x times x. Since the exponent is 3, so we have 3x's, right? Next, we are going to simplify our denominator, which is 7xy squared. To simplify 7xy squared, we will have 7 times x times y squared. Or we can also have this y times y also do that but we are looking at our numerator and the denominator at the same time 
Okay? And after that, after we simplify the numerator and the denominator, we can now try to decide if there are terms or numbers that can be factored out. So what are the numbers or variables that can be factored out? Looking at the numerators here and the denominators here. By the way, math lovers, after we simplify this part, we can now leave this and we're now going to focus on this part here. So, 4 and 7, are they common? No. And we have, next, we have x, so they are common to each other. We can divide this out. Divide out. And next, the remaining variables are x. We have x, none. We have x, we have x, none. How about y squared? We have y squared here, none. So, we have to end up right there. And after that, we're going to pick up the remaining numbers and or variables. So, we have 4, copy 4. And we have two x's, x times x, that is x squared. So we have 4x squared. Over the denominator, we have 7, copy 7. And we have y squared, copy y squared. So our simplified form, math lovers, is 4x squared over 7y squared. Now let us have, math lovers, our third example. So, I decided to have for this episode only simple or simplifying rational algebraic expressions having monomial over a monomial. For the next episode, we will have binomial over a binomial. So, our example, our third example is 21ac cubed over 9a squared b cubed c. Okay? So, uh, upon having this example, we can now start simplifying the numerator and the denominator. So, since our numerator is 21ac cubed, we can simplify it as 3 times 7, that is 21, times a times c times c times c. We have a and we have the exponent here 3 for c, so we have 3 c's. Over, for our denominator, 9a squared b cubed times c, so simplifying this one specifically, we will have 3 times 3 for 9, and we have a times a for a squared, we have b times b times b for b cubed times c, okay? So, to simplify after that one, we will leave this given rational algebraic expression, and we can now focus on this simplified form right here. After that, we can decide now if there are numbers or common numbers or factors that can be divided out or factored out or factored out. So, or factored out rather. So, we have here 3 and 3, common, divide out, factor out. We have 7 and 3, they're not common or the same. We have A and A, we can divide it out. I'm sorry for the line. And we have C and A, they're not common. For C and B, C and B, C and B. And of course, we have here C. So nothing more that we can divide out. After that, after that we're going to pick up the remaining number or variable. Pick up the remaining numbers and variables. So we have 7. And we have two c's left, so we have c squared, 7c squared. Over, we have 3, and we have a, b, we have 3 b, so that is 3ab cubed. And that is how easy to simplify rational algebraic expression. If the lovers will have three examples for simplifying rational algebraic expressions at this time. So next time we will have another examples of how to simplify rational algebraic expressions. This time let's have first uh, the example which have a monomial over a monomial. So, actually, we're applying the factoring technique, which is getting the common monomial factor. But it is more specific. So, I hope you have learned from our discussion this time. Keep on learning, keep on watching, and be not lovers.